I'm Ashley Haas, and these are my best bets for week seven in the NFL. Last week, I went four and one with my best bets. The week before, I went four and one. Both those times, I lost the spread by one point or less. I'm going for a really good record again this week. So let's start things off with an AFC North division rivalry. We've got the Cincinnati Bengals that are going to be traveling to the Baltimore Ravens. I know everyone's on this Bengal train. I just can't seem to get on yet. I'm debating if I'm going to buy a ticket to the train, but I'm just not on it yet. Every single time that Lamar Jackson plays the Bengals, he wins. That's right. Lamar Jackson has beat the Bengals five times. My final score prediction is Baltimore Ravens 27, Bengals 13. So they'll cover. Another bet I like this week is the Atlanta Falcons at Miami Dolphins. Now, the Falcons are the two-point favorite here. Miami is coming off of a very short week. They're going to be extremely jet-lagged as they were just in London. Also, Miami being home doesn't really do them that much justice because they're 0-2 at home. And the Falcons are 1-1 on the road. Since they've activated Kyle Pitts, I, mean, I have seen a massive improvement in this Falcons team. Don't think it's going to be a complete blowout. I see it being a field goal or maybe a touchdown. Falcons 21, Dolphins 14. I got to talk about one of the best matchups this weekend, and that is the Tennessee Titans take it on the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'm leaning towards taking the Titans for the points. Last time they played each other, it was a really close game. But if I were you, I would focus more on the over-under in this game. It sounds crazy high. Hear me out. The over-under is actually 57 and a half. Actually the highest total point spread we've had this year. I'm gonna still go over on that one. The last time they played each other, it was well over in the 60s. It's gonna do it again. I know everyone is going heavy on the Chiefs right now, and I definitely think the Chiefs are gonna win. I just don't know by over five points. I think it's gonna come down to a field goal. This is gonna be a close game. Titans for the points. I would take the Chiefs money line. But like I said, I would definitely go for the over here. You guys ready for my underdog of the week? I am gonna go Bears over Buccaneers. Not for the win. I'm literally not insane, okay? It is a 12-point spread. Bit risky taking the Bears for the points here. I know, trust me. Especially as Tom Brady is well-rested. They're coming off of a bye week. The Buccaneers are on a roll. They're five and one. But looking back at these games, they haven't really blown away any team. So many injuries right now on both teams, just to name a few for the Buccaneers. Onkowski, who's still going to be out with that rib injury. Antonio Brown, Richard Sherman, and Levante David. Ooh, the Bears, they can't catch a break because they are going through safeties left and right. Ooh. Also out are going to be Robert Quinn and Jimmy Graham. It's the third week that David Montgomery is going to be out sucks because he's on my fantasy football team. Damian Williams is going to be out as well. Khalil Herbert has been starting, did pretty well the last two games. He rushed for 75 yards on 18 carries against the Raiders and 97 yards, one touchdown on 19 attempts against the Green Bay Packers last week. And who could forget that because Aaron Rodgers still owns you. To sum up this very long-winded explanation, I do think the Bears will keep it to a touchdown and a field goal. I don't see the Bears winning this game. I mean, money line has them at plus 900. That it just shows you how little Vegas has faith in the Bears winning this game. And I couldn't agree more. The Bucks have this hands down. I see the final score being Buccaneers 27, Bears 17. Now for another over-under, I'm going to suggest the under, which I hate doing because it's like betting on the do not pass line. It's just not fun. Goff versus Stafford. They're playing their old teams. This is the game to watch, even though the spread is so high. <laughs> it's 15 and a half points in favor of the Rams, clearly. I'm actually predicting Rams 31, Lions only 10. I don't see the Lions putting up that many points against the Rams defense. I see it being under. And with the total being 50 and a half, I hate to take an under, but I strongly suggest it here. The Indianapolis Colts are traveling to the San Francisco 49ers who are fresh off of a bye week. The 49ers are still pretty banged up, but Jimmy Garoppolo will be starting and they are a four point favorite at home. Wentz ranks 12th and most time to throw the ball. The Colts are ranked 22nd in adjusted sack rate, which means still holding onto the ball too long. And he has all the time in the world. That's a massive problem for Wentz. And I think against a hungry defense, like the 49ers, I see that being a huge problem. Don't think you should put a lot of money on this game. I think it's going to be a little iffy, but I do think the 49ers are going to get the win. And if you want to continue to see more picks and make more money with me, go to betonash.com.